Hello, my name is Thomas Gage and I reside in Warren, New Jersey. With this video, I am exercising my rights granted under the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. On February 5th and 6th, 2013, hundreds of victims and advocates for integrity in the courts had appointments with their elected representative in the House and the Senate for two purposes, to end deliver a Lawless America DVD containing testimonies for Congress from victims of court corruption from all 50 state courts as well as federal courts. I am one of the hundreds of victims of judiciary and government corruption who have and delivered a Lawless America DVD containing testimonies for Congress from victims of court corruption to my Congressman Leonard Lance office and my Senator Robert Menendez's office and both offices are aware of solid concrete evidence of these crimes. Here are some of the criminal evidence that so far have been concealed and ignored by the state and federal judges. These criminal records that you are about to see are proof of actual commission of felonies cognizable by a court of United States and the state of New Jersey. On uh, April 22nd, see here, I filed a motion in the district court and uh, by express mail, okay, this is a pending motion uh, uh, that you are about to see that were filed and since April 2000, April uh, 22nd, 2013, since today, is still pending. Today is uh, August 1st, 2013. So, this is how long as this motion has been pending in the district court and no action has been taken. Now, what you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna hear the a call that I made to find out the status of this. Here it is. Yes, I. Uh, I would like to get an update on my case. My case number is my case number is thirteen twenty two. 201 judicial notice of adjudicative facts and impairment of special grand jury. Alright, so the defendant here again is a private attorney general, is, is Thomas Gage, is the plaintiff, uh, Somerset County Sheriff Frank Provenzano, and State uh, Judge Mary Jackson, Attorney Nicholas Cason, uh, Canova, Attorney Greg Tabigin. Uh, Fanny Soch, Kent uh, Shepard, uh, Wells Fargo Bank, they are all the defendants in this case. All right, if you see that, and then 
the date was April 22nd, 2013, right? I filed as a private attorney general, Thomas Gage. All right. Now, what you're gonna see here, uh, this is all the the rules, uh, notice of judicata, judicata facts that says uh, they can know the court, may take and know the court on its own. Uh, most take judiciary notice if a party requested and the court is supplied with the necessary information. This is what I did. I supply all the necessary information and uh, still, the, uh, still I have not got any response from the court since April 22nd which then it was a motion was set for May 7 as you heard in the tape all right that, see the, the timing you know all that the court can read it on now so this was filed uh, and still pending in court okay we're gonna get to the point that where the plaintiff the evidence okay the, therefore private attorney general request a formal evidence hearing the special grand jury organized crime all right they say it was uh, submit a b c d e and h i j and p q r s this is what they submitted this is all the titles okay Remember? all right let's specific the laws everything so all this well documented as a conclusion I stated that they say bit A B C D and H I J and P Q R S are clear evidence of action or perjury, fraud, forgery, robbery, breach of trust, dishonesty, abuse of process, intentional wrong ignoring the law, obstruction of justice, and violation of the oath office committed by the defendant and office of the court in this case, therefore plaintiff requests impanelment of a special grand jury for organized crime in this case. Again, date April 22, 2013. Inspector submitted proper Thomas Gage. Sign it. As you're gonna be see now, is a exhibit. This exhibit are before the court as I speak, and knowing that I'm a victim of crime, knowing that I, my problem has been stalled since 2011, and nothing has got done. Okay, exhibit A. This is a fraud on a D. Okay, in regard of Wells Fargo or trustee on the polling. This deed came after they stole my property, uh, after they went through a, a forger, bogus uh, deed from the sheriff. They passed, they sold my house, my property, to a new owner, uh, uh, Luke Anderson L. Lefferton. Okay, well, this document here, you're about to see, it's, it's fraudulent because was. Uh, signed by a Nicholas MC, which is unknown. This is a rubber signer. This uh, this is not no. It must be an employee. Oh, but I couldn't find in any record of uh, this person. Okay. Now besides that, okay, the fraudulent D, uh, which allowed the new. Uh, alleged new owner of my my property. It's you know it's a, my property has been stolen. So it's like when they stole your car, it's all it's, it's still yours property. So I don't know I don't know how they they've been allowed to resell my property after being stolen. 
okay this exactly says here at uh, 51 Ilcrest Boulevard Warren which is my property all right this is a uh, Robert uh, senior manager of uh, Ocean Loan Serving it's nothing it's not either Wells Fargo all right so Wells Fargo has nothing to do with these people and then they say they own my mortgage and sold it so Orange County all right what you're about to see here you see the sign here is a forger signed by Notary Republic. Now, this is a bit hey, when you're gonna get to the the less a bit uh, which is a uh, uh, I believe uh R, R and this is the following here, you will see the real signature of the Notary Republic. So this is a forger signing. This is not uh, so this document has been registered in the county Somerset. It's a bogus document. Alright, yeah, that's there are this is why it's a felony. Okay, this allowed the defendant um, Anderson to purchase a stolen property. Okay, this is a description of the land here. Again, it's my land, lot 18, block 8601, Warren Township. Okay, this is the document that allowed Mr. Anderson to purchase my property that was stolen from me on August 8, 2011 by a forced eviction by Sheriff Frank Provenzano without a court order, without a court order so and then that's the consequence they obtain a mortgage from a millennium mortgage so another fraud happened because of a bank had been fraud again Right, that's a document. Clearly, you know, was uh, filed in a Somerset County. Now, the next is a bit. We're gonna go show you again certificate sale. That's all that belongs to the fraudulent deed. Okay, this document has been presented and filed as a bit uh, from Mr. Anderson, a lawyer. Uh, to obtain and dismiss of the, my case before uh, Judge Wolfson who dismissed my case, recently dismissed this case based on this bogus, bogus document okay this is the D, the exhibit A now the next exhibit we will see, I want to show you the next exhibit is about the it's about the same D A this is still the same D, you know, the copy that was filed before Judge Paulson by the defendant, law attorney. Again I show you the record Somerset County. This is Jeff. Is they're supposed to be the the one who bid on my property when it was on auction, and uh, BF. Uh, they say BF of uh, Wells Fargo, uh, but uh, he was not to reside. He had no no any authority to do so because as the law required that they purchase the the the. The, uh, the property uh, on action supposed to sign it the, and provide them with all the information. So Jeffy, Winston, is a, and there some look like there were two bidding on it. Anyway, this document must have been investigated to see if it actually was a a sale. Okay, it look like that those uh, uh, bidders was from uh, Wells Fargo. Uh, himself so was no pop so you touch the house was sold uh, 461 when it was court order if the alleged court order was 861 something 814 I don't know sure but it was above 800,000 and the court order was breached it is. <coughs> The document. This document is are before the judge, uh, as I speak. Today is um, 
August 1st, 2013. Okay, two years later. This is a Thomas Miller. Uh, is is a, is a judge, Somerset County. Is a judge. Okay, now it used to be the attorney of Somerset County. And this signature here, keep this one here in mind. This is the real officer signature of Thomas Miller. So this signature here, and then the following signature here proves that how Thomas Miller signs the document. Okay, official document. And by by the way, this is not the deal involved in my case, but it shows you the real signature here. And coincidentally, there's a name here, John Colley, E. Colley, happened to be in this, you know, this, uh, you know, piece of document. Because uh, you see here, Medicare Debit uh, Forgiveness Act. Uh, this is for Robert Signer. This is a list, but you can find the Robert Signer. Let me find about the Weather Authority. Uh, this list, uh, you know, I'm going to go through here, uh, which you're about to see is that uh, all the Robert Signer names are list, and in, in, in which you find the two uh, Robert Sign the sign on May. Bogus assignment or mortgage uh, document that was submitted by the attorney of a Fargo Bank yeah, in the court of law, Superior Court in Trenton, as a document for obtaining standing. Info closer. Here, you see here. This is one of the signature. Okay, Benji Tony. And all his names. Here again, this a signature of Carlos. Norco, Norico, they call. I don't know how to uh, pronounce their names, but uh, Colson Norico. Again, here, again, you know, there's a, a signature. Colson. Okay. Those uh, are find on the documents, on my documents. There were provided a document to sustain a foreclosure legal process. Okay, unlawfully, unlawful document, and I still am being allowed to use as I say bit to dismiss my case before district court judge Fred Walson. She aware about this document because I provided him with this evidence. Again here Tonya uh, the one uh over sign is fine on my document. Here new list of different company, McDonnell property analyst approved Robert Steiner list. It's an Robert Steiner list approved, been used. Okay, uh, Colston Norico, that's the name of uh, one find on the assignment on uh, for the uh, assignment of my mortgage to El Fargo and. This is again Blictioner Tonya. Again, these names I find on two lists and find uh, by the federal authority. Okay, uh, have a knowledge of these two being uh, rubber signers. Okay, 
Now, the follow document is a letter dated Monday, July 2nd, 2012, uh, from Customer Financial Protection War, Washington. Uh, this uh, was sent to the from Wells Bar from Wells Fargo Bank uh, in response to a complaint that I did to the Consumer Financial Protection, which, by the way, nothing happened. Uh, they just didn't do anything about it. Wells Fargo, uh, as a trustee uh, governed by the polling agreement, duty uh, respons uh, doesn't have a duty responsibility. So it says that uh, uh, such a uh, uh, she. This letter basically says that uh, they had no uh, uh, control of the my mortgage, okay. And then again, this is said here the final exhibit is is the Ministry Office of the Court of the State of New Jersey, where is a note of assignment deficiency. Means that uh, the assignment, uh, the the following of the foreclosure, had no standing. Because due to the lack of the of an important document, which uh, stated here, the assignment is a deficient. Uh, uh, the notary list uh, two different date, okay, from the assignment of the assignment, okay, which is six to eleven, uh, two thousand eight, and five nineteen oh eight. That's from Larry Scott, okay, fifteen. As uh, that. Following document is the assign the fraudulent assignment of mortgage. Okay, they, which is uh, was uh, the date you will see here. June. Uh, the date is eleventh June two thousand eight. And here we got Robert Signer here, okay, and another one here, okay, Tony Merchant and uh, Norman Kill Colson, right? This is what you see in it are the bogus uh, paper that were filed in court to obtain a standing for closer. The date is it's on May 19, 2008. Dr. Plate, rubber signer, rubber sign. This document is fraudulent because the notary here, okay, now the different date and the, so the signature uh, of this uh, rubber signer, and there's no seal, no witness. So this document could not have been a record in the county of Somerset as a register of the of assignment. Okay, it's a bogus, but they use this to to steal my property. That successful, successful did. Okay, the court, uh, the superior court of Trenton, uh, default is duty to protect my rights. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, fan such again, share pillow form fallen. A further, a further document here, Superior Court, New Jersey. Certification for additional funds to plaintiff. Now, who, how they, how I supposed to, how they don't know about what I supposed to own if I don't have a mortgage? I mean, how these people have come up with these numbers and has nothing to do with the Fargo Bank. Now this is says here, I am a vice president. Okay, I was a vice president of uh, Berkeley Capital Real Estate Home Servicing Authority. In fact, to plaintiff, a knowledge of additional expedition made after the completion of the proof of amount. Okay, where this come? Where they come from? These numbers? How they can come? Uh, I don't understand how they. Just put numbers on the paper, and the court believes that this is not a 
affidavit from an employee from Wells well, Fargo Bank. Okay, as someone the the the, the mention is a is an attorney for equity loan service. Okay, and then is the numbers here. They come out X eighteen thousand insurance and all these numbers. I don't understand how they can do anyone that can put numbers on a paper and declare that you own the number the the money. I didn't own the money to anybody. Okay, so this you can see here as a robot signer. Okay. This person doesn't exist. There is no names. We don't know who's the who's supposed to be the the president, the vice president of uh, Home Equity Servicing at that date. Okay, this was dated June 17, 2010. Okay, so this is a August document. Somebody uh, just made up this document for the purpose. To use in court and steal my property. It's a bit J. All right. This one here shows that uh, the similar form, okay, fine, such that okay, I filed this as a certification of a month due in support of entry of the final judgment. Now, Michael M. Court T. All right, who is this Mikhail Corti? I mean, this is guy. This is the, the this is a Robert Signer. This is a, an employee of uh, Home Survey Serving. Uh, you know, is saying that he's an attorney, in fact, and survey agent. Right, and there's nothing to do with Fargo. There's not about El Fargo. Who is an imposter? Pretend to be a owner of my mortgage note or either. I don't uh, know. There is no mortgage. I never had a mortgage with my Fargo Bank, so and they didn't approve it. They were my mortgage company. Okay, this is the amount they asking for, eight hundred fourteen thousand. Okay, do plenty of action some. Uh, okay, and this is Robert Signer. Okay, Michael Curtis. All right, that's the title. Who sign it? which is fine to be a rubber signer it's on a list right so all this bogus documents okay there's a schedule here again they say it's in pay principal balance this is the balance they wanted all this number how they come up with these numbers who how the court can allow a document like this that has not any legal enforcement doesn't have any affidavit comes with it so who's these people okay Robert Signer see again so you can see that again exhibit K we got a exhibit K here here by certified that the country is not subject to court proceeding and petition all right and this is see this signature here this is a, a exhibit to show you the real signature of Nicholas Canova, all right. So he signed it here twice in the same paper, all right. Uh, and I say here it doesn't match because the reason it doesn't match is because the next document is about important document before you know, as if to be used be you know for filing a court, uh, a court uh, document for foreclosure. All right. This is Supreme Court uh, certification of Nicola Casanova. Now this Nicola's supposed to certify here this document they call it as a no certification and then now he certify and then you need to sign it right so such a it says all that the certificate for giving the statement made by me are true I am aware that they for now who's this signature here this doesn't match this signature is not from Nicholas I can know so it doesn't match with the previous so this document need to be investigated because it's a forged signature on this document, and there were some made in court for purpose of obtaining a judgment, okay, against me to steal my property. Okay, now we go to exhibit B, okay, 
is about to show you uh, to show the court how Frank Provenzano, the sheriff of Somerset County, signs his officer official signature on the document. This is okay. This signature here. So this signature here is supposed to be on the D. They swear to be truly okay. Document to convoy my property, hmm? to take away my property from me and give it to somebody else. Right. So this is the signature of the real official signature of Frank Provenzano is here. You're gonna compare this to the on the deed. Okay. Again, now the next document also is gonna show. Right. This is. Frank J. Provenzano, this is what he signed. This is a forgery. This is not our Frank Provenzano official signature. This one here doesn't match Thomas Miller's signature. This is a forgery signature. This is not Thomas Miller. So, but it says here, and he saw a fourth day of October 2010. This is somebody did this. This is not from Frank Provenzano and Thomas Miller on. On the fourth day of October, they were not present to do this document. Again, here, this document here, the signature here, it's forger. All the signature does not match are forged, right? And then, and this document here, is supposed to be a dandy copy of the original that was filed in Somerset County for registering you know, the D, right? So when you go to the next one here, with this one here, over here, this one here, Thomas Me is not. Now the next one down here, the final document is the same document that says the same thing. It's supposed to be identical, right? Now you got the different this this doesn't match with this document here, this doesn't match with this document here. So which is supposed to be an identical document because first of all your copies. Alright, and the same thing. Now the bottom see this one here is good. I'll show you the bottom. See, this one's complete out of control. Look at this. Thomas Miller here. And Thomas Miller here. It doesn't match here. And this document is says, swear before me an attorney at law of New Jersey on this fourth day of October in the year of the Lord 2010. I do certify that I have examined the above deed mentioned and to approve the same and order it to be recorded. That's good. It's sufficient to convey of the land. So that was supposed to be good. So this is a, a, a bogus document filed in the, you know, in Somerset County for the purpose to steal my property. And when uh, this document and are before the district court uh, uh, judge Fred Walson she has many times received this MS habit. Okay? And she knew it. Right? Now, for the Department of State, I wrote a letter, right? And then I request for uh, the document of the notary. Remember the exhibit A I showed you before? Uh, to see if the, the sign matched. This is the way you're going to see how notary Figuera. Right, which is supposed to be the notary who sold and signed. This is the signature of her. This signature doesn't match with the exhibit A. Okay, so it tells you that she never signed a witness the assignment of uh, the deed to the alleged uh, new owner of my property, Mr. and Mr. Anderson. So as the real uh, signature, right, again here, Christine, or she signed again down here, at this point, okay, here, state of Florida, okay, Christina M. Figuerera, right, and then how she signed it, this is her signature here. Yeah, this one here does not match with the exhibit A. The real officer signature, suppose 
of Christine, the notary Christine Figuerer, is this. So if you go and save it A, you compare the signature, the signature doesn't match, but you mean who signed it, the deed, though a record in the Somerset County it was a forger and the document is bogus. Okay. Well, this is the same bit. They are right now filed before the district court in Trenton as a motion under Rule 201. Okay. So, and I'm still waiting. This is as uh, this motion was filed April 22nd, 2013. And today is August 1st, 2013. And nothing, no action has been taken by the district court. It seems to me the district court is ignoring the fact that I am a victim, I have been robbed of my property, and every day I'm being victimized. Okay? And the court is breaching its fiduciary duty. Is denied me a chest to minimal chest to the jury, okay? And the court cannot deny me evidence in hearing, okay? They can just not do that. So I'm waiting for this motion to go through it. Thank you for your time. I'll see you next time in my next video. This is what you saw here as you saw me over there, criminal of felonies document there are more there are a false court order a bogus court order where came they used to come to my house there's more document that you're gonna see in future videos okay thank you again for your time support